10 things you should never, and I mean never, say to an RV salesman in this video coming right up. Hey there, before we get into it today, just real quickly, real quickly, I just wanted to share this with you. I am Dr. Dave, also known as the RV Dummy, and I've got a little channel going here on YouTube, and if you feel that you connect and you like what you're seeing and hearing today, I ask you to please subscribe. There's a subscribe button that stays up the whole time. Um, love to have you with us in our little group. I try to read every single comment and question that's asked on every video. I try my best to respond to everyone as well. I'm not 100%, but I'm close to 100%. So um, love to have you join our little RV community here. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. We love positive energy. But anyway, you're not here for that. You're here to find out what the 10 things you should never say to an RV salesman are. So we're going to go down the list. They're not in any real order. I've just got 10, and I want to make sure you never, ever make this mistake. Now, um, you might be shopping for an RV now. You might already have one and want to trade up or trade down or trade some way. But um, we as RV owners, and users, we, we, we oftentimes find ourselves trying to switch rigs and get into another rig somehow. So um, if you're not feeling it now, you're going to sooner or later. So please tuck these away and remember 10 things you should never say to your salesman when you're ready to make that move. Okay, number one, never say, I really love this RV. See, okay. Buying something and selling something, it's, it's a negotiation, it's a game, it's a strategy. And why would you ever want to do something that's going to stack the deck in the other person's favor? You can love it all you want. You can say, say to yourself, this is the best RV ever and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get this. But don't let the other party know that. Once you let them know, then you're, you're, the chance of getting the best deal possible is not nearly as good. Now, I want to make something very clear also. I'm not out there. I, I live my life by being, by, being, by being very, very ethical and doing the right thing. I try to do the right thing every single day. Now, I'm not saying that you want to rip somebody off and, and, and uh, rip them off on the price as a buyer, but you want to, what I always learned in business my entire life was a business deal is good when both parties are very happy. That's, that's like the ideal business deal. So again, I'm not saying you need to rip somebody off and, and get something that that's, they're going to lose money on. But again, you want to stack the odds in your favor to get the best deal you possibly can so everybody's happy. So that's number one. Do not say that never, ever, ever act so excited. Just play it cool. You know, they, they say like have a poker face on. Um, just play it cool. Don't deal. Don't show them your, your full deck. Please don't do that. Number two. Now. I was totally in this situation a couple of years ago when I bought my first RV. I did buy it from a private party, but um, I didn't know anything about RVs. And, and these days I know a lot more, but still not everything at all. But never, ever say to a dealer or to a salesperson, I don't know anything about RVs. Again, don't give them that information because you could be, I'm not saying that you will be, but you could be taken advantage of once they realize that they've got somebody that's totally green and, and they can pull anything over on you that you want. You might not even catch certain things, so just don't say it. It's also better to bring somebody with you when you're negotiating. Somebody Bring somebody with you that knows something about RVs that can help you look around because if you, if you don't know anything about them, you're not going to really know what to look for. Number three, this is said all the time, and I never want to see you, my friend, my viewer, my subscriber, I never want to see you say this. No, it's number three is, oh, um, yes, yeah, so my trade-in is, is right outside. I'm trading that one in. Again, don't show all your cards. There's no reason, there's no reason to tell a salesperson that you've got a trade-in because, again, they do, they, you know, the negotiation is based on a lot, of, a lot of things. It's based on the price of the, of the rig you're going to buy. It's based on a tr possible trade-in. It's based on financing. It's, there's a lot of things that come into play. And the less they know what's going on. I'm not saying keep, I'm not saying withhold honest information, but you don't have to tell them you've got to trade in. You don't have to tell them till the deal is already made on this RV. Don't let that be part of the deal. It's a big, big, big mistake. And that goes with a car as well. Don't, if, if you walk in and they start asking you questions, say, well, do you have something to trade in? Say, 
I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Just say, I, I'm not really sure. Right now, the most important thing is I'm looking for a new RV and I want to get, I want to find something I love and then we'll take it from there. Say it like that, or not those exact words maybe, but don't give all your, don't give everything away. Please don't do that. Number four, never say this because it also implies that they're not ethical. Don't say, I'm really, I don't really want to get ripped off here. I mean, when you say that, you're implying that the salesperson is a ripoff artist and you don't trust them or they better be honest. Well, again, if you feel that you're not in the right place or if you feel that once you start talking to your salesperson, they're not ethical or honest, move on. But there's no reason, there's no advantage at all in saying, I don't want to get ripped off. I mean, in other words, if somebody's dishonest, just because you say that, they're going to say, oh, well, today I'm going to be very honest. No, if you're dealing with an unscrupulous person, it's best to get out of there anyway unscrupulous person, unscrupulous dealer, just move along, deal with somebody that you feel in your heart is going to be taking good care of you. But certainly don't say, I don't want to get ripped off. Number five, don't make this mistake. Don't even talk about your credit. So many people go in and say, oh, my, I just want, want to warn you, my credit's not good. Well, again, you're, you're giving them too much information and there's no reason anybody has to know that. If it's true, there's no reason Anybody has to know that for you to, in order for you to get the best deal possible. Now, on a side side uh, bar to that, if your credit's not good and you don't have the cash to pay for your rig, I wouldn't be buying it anyway. Because going back many many episodes, for as long as I've been preaching about RVs and financial situations and things like that, I truly believe, and I, I've stuck to this for many many years. Um, if you can't afford something, if you can't afford to pay cash for something. You have no business buying it. Now, a lot of people are going to hate me for that. And if you hate me for it, I'm, I'm, I apologize in advance. But it really is the truth. If you can't pay cash for something, don't buy it. The only exception I would ever make to that would be a home. And I still love paying cash for a home. Uh, but if you can't pay cash for a home, uh, I, this is often a little bit of a tangent, but um, 40 year, uh, I'm sorry, 40 years, 15, we're as way to a 15 year fixed rate mortgage would be okay, but get that paid off as soon as you can. But that's, again, that's not what we're talking about today. Um, number six, a lot of people go in and make a mistake. They say right off the bat, well, I'm going to pay cash. Don't, again, don't say that. Because again, there's no reason, there's no advantage for you to tell anybody you are paying cash. Again, they finagle these three things, the trade-in, the price of the, of the vehicle itself, and the financing. These are all kind of intertwined. And the less information, you, you want to go in and you want to get the best deal possible on this RV that you're looking at without giving them any more information. You want to get their bottom line, best price. Then, once you do that, you start throwing some other things in like, oh, I'm going to pay cash or I've got a trade in. What can you give me for that? But not until you get the absolute best bottom line price. Number seven, I really want to buy an RV today. When you say that, you're dead. You're done. because again. There's that urgency that you, no matter what, no matter what, if even if you get a mediocre deal, you're going to buy and they know that and they're not going to give you the best deal. So never say, I want to buy today. Don't be in a hurry. Even if you feel that you're in a hurry, don't, don't let them know. Don't let them feel that you're in a hurry. Again, go in straight face, do the right thing. Don't give them more information than they need ever, ever. Number eight. Number eight, don't say anything like this at all. Well, mm, let me think. Okay, I need to have I need to have a monthly payment below six hundred dollars. Or I'm just making that that number up. But I need to have a monthly payment below blank amount. Again, never do that because again, they could give you they you could be getting ripped off on the RV, but they stretch it out for like a hundred hundred and fifty year payments, hundred and fifty years worth of payments, and yeah, you'll have a really low payment, but it won't be paid off for 150 years. Don't do that, please. Number nine, you go in. I think I was probably guilty of this in a long, long time ago, maybe even buying a car. You go in, you act all confident. Well, I'm a doctor. I am a doctor, but these days I never, I would never, ever, ever let that get in and never let that get into the negotiation at all. Because again, if, or you know, it doesn't matter if you're a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, something. If you're if you if you are something, an IT person, if you're something, 
and you tell them somebody that they perceive makes a lot of money, what's again, what's the advantage? Why would you ever tell somebody what you do for a living? It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. They should be giving the best deal to somebody that walks in that's a janitor or a brain surgeon. If you have the money, it doesn't really matter what you do for a living. Don't let that get in the way, please. Number 10. Great one. Don't, when you're looking at the RV, and don't, don't say something like, so uh, where are the cup holders? Again, it's trivial. It's not that important. I mean, you'll eventually learn and find out, but make sure you ask really good pertinent questions about the engine, if, it, if it's a uh, you know, class A, class B, or class C. Of course, if you're towing something, you don't have an engine in it, but ask other questions like, show me exactly, I want to make sure this is compatible with my vehicle that I'm going to be towing, the towing from, towing with. Um, ask really good questions, but like not like, um, where's the cup holder? Let me make sure I can fit my big gulp in here before I buy it. That's just, again, that's ridiculous. That was 10. I'm sure there are plenty more. If you have any, any questions that should never be asked, should never should be asked in a negotiation, buying an RV, or, and you can substitute the word RV for car. If any of you are going and buying a car in the near future, go through the list again, because it's, it's really pretty much the same. You should not be giving away any more information than you need to. I hope you get the best deal you possibly can. Um, how do you know you have a good deal? Research it online. Research it online. See what these things are going for. Look at the vehicle. Look at the RV. Look at the rig really, really carefully. Make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Um, that's beyond the scope of today's video, but, but make sure you know you're getting a good deal. And try to get the best deal you possibly can, but not with giving these stupid, stupid, crazy uh, uh, statements walking into the dealership. You don't want to do that. I'm Dr. Dave. Again, one more time before I go, I really, really appreciate you. I mean you. I really appreciate you being here with me today. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe, tell a friend, phone a friend. I hope to see you on the road because I'm going to be on the road really, really soon. Talk to you later.